And that's how unbelievable his presence was. Mike says, uh, what if I were the one to tell you that the fight's already been won? I think your day is about to get better. What if I were the one to tell you the work's already been done? It's not good news. It's the best news ever. And now a prize awaits me. This crown of righteousness, this eternal prize that will never fade. Don't we want to hear God say, well done, my good and faithful servant? I don't want God to look at me and be like, you kind of missed the race. I'm glad you're here, but you kind of missed it. Bummer. You know, do you want another day outside of Sunday? Let's hash this out. Okay. No terms except unconditional and immediate surrender. He says, I've fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have remained faithful. And now the prize awaits me. The crown of righteousness is mine. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. Just a couple weeks ago, we had a funeral here for the beloved spouse of one of our amazing staff people. And this was the scripture that was read. I fought the good fight. All of our life races, they have a worldly end. And when we get to that end, don't we want to be able to say, I finished the race. And now a prize awaits me. This crown of righteousness, this eternal prize that will never fade. Don't miss this race, church. There's a crown of righteousness waiting for all of us. When we run together, there's glory that is God's and victory that is ours. Run like you can't lose, because you can't. Jesus has already won this for you. That's impossible. He laughs at fear, afraid of nothing. He does not shy away from the sword. He cannot stand still when the trumpet sounds. Eternity is at stake. Please step into the race. Please step into the race. It's what we do together. The victory is whether we gave our hearts to it. 